Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently we have the new leak for the promo that's coming up this Friday. It is going to be called the Wild Card promo. I think that's what it's called, right? So the Winter Wild Card Team. Yeah. So with this promo, guys, just like the last one, we are going to be doing a review for all of the cards, seeing what the potential could be like for a lot of these bad boys, because I'm taking a look at this list right now. And uh, there's a lot of cards that could be potential beasts in this game, right? So we're going to go with, get started here with the Neymar card, right? So not really much to say about Neymar. Obviously, if Neymar gets any sort of change on his card that is an upgrade, he's going to be an absolute monster. There's a lot of people in the beginning of the year that were actually using the Neymar card that, you know, said that they didn't really like him that much, which really, really surprised me, to be honest, because when we did the review for him and I was using him uh, in most of the attacking positions, he was an absolute beast. I enjoyed using him thoroughly, man. Having the, the skill moves, the weak foot, just a lot of disgusting things to work with him. And they if they give him an upgrade with pace or shooting for base card stats, uh, you know, extra stamina to play him in the side position and not worry about that as much, disgusting, you know? So I'd be very surprised if people don't end up liking the card, obviously. Uh, with this promo, guys, there could be potential changes to some of the cards, maybe, right? So with Neymar... The biggest deal for a card like this is if they change him from a side player to a middle player, right? So if we if they change him from a left wing uh, to a striker, that's going to be a, a massive deal, right? Especially for those PSG links, depending on how you want to actually line up your squad. Because obviously with him being a left winger, you have to be a little bit more linear in regards to how you line up your squad. But as a striker, I mean, obviously with those meta links with the back four, uh, crazy, crazy stuff you can work with, right? So Neymar, obviously gonna be an absolute monster uh the next one that we have here is modric 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 has a whole ton massive just um factor like with this card like there's so much that this card could be with the right upgrades okay the only thing that's off with modric is the media medium work rates and if i remember correctly i think he was actually a high high work rate player but you know, with FIFA this year, is a medium medium, which isn't actually that big of a deal. Like, as you guys know, with Nkunku's card, he's gotten to a point with his 88 where, like, it's actually worth using him in your squad. Like, if you're playing a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1, it's worth it to use that card in your team. With Modric, very similar situation. If they improve this card uh, really nicely, like, guys, he's a four-star, four-star player. He's five foot eight, right? He has a lean body type to work with dribbling stats that are already fant fantastic, for the meta of the game, if they improve his physical, his defense, his pace, and his shooting when his passing and dribbling is already really good, this card's going to be disgusting, excuse me, regardless of the medium, medium work rate. So a ton of potential there and obviously fantastic links to work with, excuse me, as well. So next up we have here is going to be the Paul Pogba card. Pogba is another card that if upgraded properly could be a freaking beast as well. Because guys, you're taking a look at a card who has five star skills. So that's amazing to work with right off the bat, right? Four star weak foot. But look at the way that his pace is formatted, right? So if they improve the card and they give him, I would say... 76 77 acceleration and then the sprint speed is being improved as well base card stats for shooting defense and physical is being improved you give him a shadow and you work with the dribbling stats that he has because his dribbling is not that bad you just kind of have to work with it a little bit and then he would be your more attacking oriented midfielder with a high medium work rate this card could be a monster on the pitch okay he could be an absolute monster being as tall as he is at six foot three with a unique body type on a shadow chemistry style to boost the pace defense as much as possible while base card stats for physical is already being improved it's just a monster in the midfield like you really can't go wrong with that in a two midfield setup a uh three midfield setup depending on how you want to line him up in your team so yeah a lot of very good cards so far we have fabinho Ooh, see you know what's funny about fabinho is that if they actually improve him properly this is the type of card that we've actually been waiting for because of what we're working with, right? So with Fabinho, as a CDM from the Premier League, someone who's going to be your more defensive-oriented player, not really going to be a card you want to attack too much with from a base characteristic, uh, with this card, guys, medium-high work rates for a Premier League player that gives you Brazilian links and Liverpool links. So that's already crazy as it is, especially the Brazilian ones, because there's so much things you can do with that right now. But... You know, if we take a look at Fabinho, he already has the work rate. 
He's six foot two, but he has a unique body type. So if you improve his base card stats for his pace, for his physical, for his defense, nuts, okay? Here's the thing though, is that if you give this card a shadow chemistry style currently, the defensive stuff is probably going to be a little bit similar, right? But it's the pace that you're gonna notice the most with, right? Because if his base card stats for defense is improved to what it potentially could be, you could probably just give him a catalyst chemistry style. Catalyst, I never know which, which where, where that one is. I'm completely blind, Catalyst, right? You can give him a Catalyst because they're probably gonna improve his base card stats for defense a lot, right? And if you could improve his passing a little bit while still giving him that pace boost to work with that medium high work rate, that'll be sick to work with. But here's the thing, if they give him like 85 acceleration, 88 for sprint speed, and then you give him a, an anchor on top of that to improve his physical, to improve his defense and pace, disgusting, right? So. Again, another fantastic card. Uh, Coman is a little bit different. So Coman's actually not that bad this year. I don't mind this card from a base characteristic, but they do need to improve a few things. So maybe, maybe with this card, they give him like a weak foot adjustment, you know, a nice little four-star weak foot, potentially, right? Uh, he is a medium, medium work rated player. So with medium, medium work rated players, guys, uh, you want to try to use these guys in the side positions as much as possible. You could definitely use them through the middle, but... Coleman's base characteristics, you know, 5'11 height, unique body type, uh, a player that, you know, mostly plays in those side areas. His original position being the right mid area is the area that makes the most sense uh, for a card like this. But again, it's a card that has potential. He already has base card stats for pace, which is a really big deal uh, because with a card like this, if they improve his base card stats significantly, you'd probably just give him a marksman chemistry style because the base card stats for shooting will be significantly higher. So they'll put him in, put him into the eight, uh, to the nineties. Uh, and then his attacking positioning to work with that medium, medium work rate will also be increased as well. The biggest deal is going to be whether or not they actually give him that weak foot adjustment, uh, because if they give him the weak foot adjustment, then there's going to be some crazy things to work with for sure. When it comes to a card like this in the team. Uh, stamina being improved will definitely be very nice, but if they give him like a cutoff of like an 81 or something, I feel like that would be uh, perfectly fine in my opinion, right? Uh, next one we have is Malinkovic Savage, which yet again could potentially be another decent card in FIFA depending on how they upgrade him because with him, it's kind of a very, very similar situation to the uh, Paul Pogba card, right? So with Paul Pogba, he would be your more attacking oriented midfielder. With him, it would be a little bit strange though because they would have to improve him in certain ways where you'd probably just give him an engine chemistry style using him in the middle because with him being a high medium work rated player, he has a high and average body type while being six foot three, but has a five star weak foot and four star skills to work with. So there's a ton of potential for a card like this if improved properly, especially in the dribbling department as your more attacking oriented midfielder because one, he's tall, he already has base card stats for physical, stamina is already there at a 92. So if this card, can be the type of card to push forward and come back really nicely, depending on how they actually improve him. He could be a really good card to use, again, in a three midfield setup or even a two midfield setup if they give him the right improvements. Because even just from this inform card, you give him a shadow, the main thing that you have to work with is pace and dribbling, right? But with a promo card coming out, there's a lot of potential there. Spinazzola. I mean, guys, listen, Spinazzola is really good. Like, he's really, really good. Spinazzola was used in a very large majority of the player base when it came to their teams initially, you know, beginning of the year, because the card is really solid. Like, okay, you know, he's a, a right-footed player that plays in the left back position, 100%, right? But here's the thing with this card, is that he's a four-star, four-star player. His dribbling stats, considering the fact that he's a six-foot-one player at a high and average plus body type, is actually solid to work with, because when you give a card like this an anchor chemistry style, you're working with very good things all around. Like, for me personally, when I used him, in my team in the beginning of the year, I thoroughly enjoyed using him a lot. I thought he was very, very solid. And with a potential improvement on the card, especially on an anchor chemistry style, you're improving his physical, his defense, his extra pace. You know, his pace for base card stats is already high. So EA might even already give him really high pace where all you have to do for a card like this is to give him uh, the Sentinel chemistry style because the Sentinel, another card I don't really put on my cards that often, there he is. Uh, a Sentinel chemistry style gives them crazy defensive boost. You give them the extra plus 10 for the aggression. So a lot of very cool stuff to work with. And 
the links, the links are really big too, because if you guys did the Insigne card or whatever it is, there's so many things that you can work with, right? So again, another fantastic card if made into a promo. Uh, Tarapt would be a Liga Noche type player. Honestly, if they improve this card a certain way, medium, medium work rates for him, huh? But has defensive stats, ooh. See, a card like this, you know, could potentially make a very good midfielder. Yeah, because if you give him a shadow chemistry style and you improve his base card stats to have shooting similar to like Claude, Ma uh, the, I was about to say Claude Makalele, uh, the new Claude card from the Versus promo, right? You improve his base card stats for shooting, passing, dribbling, right? He's a player who is an average body type, medium, medium work rates, 5'11", but, you know, stamina is even in a pretty decent area too. So for the Liga Noche players, Working with a four-star, four-star player in that area, yes, he's medium, medium, but he could be very solid as well if improved correctly as well. Yeah, the shooting, it's, it's important that the shot power is higher than the finishing too. That's cool, man. This could be a really, really sick card if done properly, 100%. Uh, Mbarba. Who's Mbarba again? I don't know who this guy is. Mbarba, a right mid card. What is he? Four star, four star. Ooh, he could be good too, actually. Like on a hunter? Base card stats for dribbling being improved. What's his base card stats for pace? Plus 10. Yeah, he could be really good, actually. If they improve his dribbling stats to be at a certain point, what is his work rates? Ooh. Ooh, position? Right mid. Oh. Okay. This card has a lot of potential. Because he's five foot eight, so he's smaller to work with that average body type. Because as you guys know, when it comes to using like left mids and right mids in FIFA with the high, high work rates, honestly, guys, like I use a hunter on Carrasco. Carrasco in the elite division at some point, like he gets really annoying to use. Like Jelson Martins is like, I love Jelson Martins over him for sure. But with cards like this, man, there's a lot of potential because if, he, if he's right footed, four star, four star playing on that right side and you can get the right links with him, especially with like the Spanish guys and stuff. There's a lot of things you can work with this too, because what you can actually do is you can have your Liga Santana team lined up a certain way where you can add Marcus Lorente in the team and he would give you that Spanish direct link in a 4-5-1. So that would be nuts, especially for like the, the cheaper alternative uh, to someone like Carrasco in your team. Yeah, that's a good card to release too, man, especially for the links. This card can be a demon, man. This card right here could be a demon. You know why? Because he's a player who has a unique body type, five foot 10 heights. The only thing that's off with him, and it is an off thing to be fair, is the medium, medium work rates, right? So the medium, medium work rates is very, very strange, but a card that has dribbling stats with a unique body type, potentially on a shadow chemistry style where his pace is really good, defense is already good for base card stats being improved, as well as uh, the physicality being improved, I mean, take a look at his pace on a shadow chemistry style, right? If they give him like even like plus eights for the pace, you could still give him an anchor chemistry style, give him that extra physical boost, and he would be a monster too. Um, I do think that Cancelo probably has more of that it factor this year than the Nelson Smedo card, especially if they improve him a little bit more on an anchor chemistry style. But Nelson Smedo in previous years was uh, was an absolute monster. I think the work rates are a little bit strange for him because last year he had a medium high, or it was two years ago that he had a medium high. And that medium high was a massive deal when it came to the performance of this card in the game. Like, he was good, honestly, for the entire year. Like, that's how good that card ended up being. Pal Torres, a Spanish center back. Do you have the right base characteristics? Okay, so the problem with this card is that agility and balance is really low with dribbling. But 69, it's not like a terrible area. Because if they give this card like 79 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, not a bad card. Not like crazy for the meta, but not a bad card. Because on a shadow chemistry style with improved base card stats for physical, high and average plus body type could present to be a problem, but medium high work rates, which is a massive deal. Oh, and he's left footed. Nice. A left footed player in that left center back area getting you the Spanish links in your squad. Especially if you need that link with Marcus Lorente in like a 4-3-2-1. That's not bad, actually. That is not bad. Depending on how they improve him, of course. But yeah, this has potential. It even has some, like, some passing stats as well. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Uh, we have Jonathan David. Jonathan David is a physical type striker. That's actually not that bad in this game. Like, Obviously, uh, you hit up certain points in the game where 
He's a little bit harder to use for sure, but he's not bad. I like him mostly in a two striker formation the most. But here's the thing, man. This card has potential too, because if you give him an engine chemistry style with improved base card stats for dribbling and they improve his base card stats for shooting as much as possible, he already has a five star weak foot even on top of that. Like this card could be sick, especially for those Leo links. Like maybe if you get like a Renato Sanchez in your team as well, that would be really, really dope, man. Because Jonathan David, I, I couldn't use him because as a lone striker, I didn't really like his attacking AI with his high, high work rates personally. Uh, but this is not like a, a general consensus for everything. It's just my personal opinion. Uh, but with Jonathan David in a two striker lineup, 4-4-2 four, four, maybe, especially with that five star weak foot, like all you have to do is just work that one little space, shoot immediately. Especially with high base card stats for shooting. I mean, there's a lot of potential there too, man. Yeah, this card looks sick because his dribbling is set up perfectly for an engine as well to improve his... Uh, average body time at a five foot ten height but it's that five star weak foot guys it's really really a big deal when it comes to these types of cards i don't know how to say this guy's name uh he's been around for a while a champong a campong is this like a foot legend because i see this card like all the time like maybe it's just like from the packs and stuff this is from the chinese super league four star skills three star weak foot but he is a left-footed player with a high low work rates not much to look at with this one because you got to work with the Chinese Super League links. So it's a little bit weird. Mbolo. Ooh, this one could be a good physical type striker. Let's see. Mbolo, Mbolo. So base card stats for dribbling needs to be improved 100%. This is what they're going to do with this card. They're going to give him really, really high pace. High medium work rate. Oh, medium high work rates. What is that? Whoa, dude. Six foot two high, high and stocky body type. I mean, it's got to be a finisher. 100% gotta be a finisher or anything that gives him a plus 10 for finishing and then maybe you you yourself would work with his base card stats for dribbling as a physical type striker with a four star weak foot it has potential if improves properly yeah not too bad but the work rate's very very strange for him especially at a high and stocky body type they gotta do some stuff to that car they gotta juice him up like crazy if they do that uh niakate niakate this card has potential for sure this guy, this guy's got potential. Uh, the only things that you're going to notice mainly is going to be in pace and dribbling for sure. Because on a shadow chemistry style, they're definitely going to improve his physical stats as much as possible. If you give him a shadow chemistry style and you're working with like, I would say like uh, the pace is set up strangely, though it is because if the acceleration was higher, that'd be nice. Yeah, but he could be really good, though, man, because again, Oh, wait a second. No, he's medium high work rate. I thought he was high medium. I was like, no, 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 no. But medium high work rated. So high defensive work rates. High in average body type is not bad to work with a six foot three height. He is left footed and gives you French links. But it really depends on how they improve his pace and dribbling. Like the dribbling needs to be improved at least into like the 70s area because the base card stats for physical being improved will be helpful. But it's a card that you're definitely going to have to give a shadow chemistry style to 100%. Yeah, you're going to have to give him a shadow for sure. Uh, Luke Bacchio, what a meme, eh? This guy is a meme. Oh, no, look at this meme. This meme that could potentially be good on an engine. Look at that. Oh, yeah, he's, he's got potential. Medium low is a little bit weird. High and average plus. This is a meme card for sure. But medium low work rates, if his medium low is actually good with these certain improvements that EA actually ends up giving him, again, could be a decent card to work with, but if he's a four-star, three-star player by default, uh, it's going to be a card more to try out than to use in-game because this card's footmiss card. I think I actually reviewed him, and I was like, yeah, this card is... Uh, <laughs> he's not it, my guy. He's not it. This card right here. So, ooh. 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 First of all, as a silver card, he's pretty dope to use, right? But this card on a shadow... If they improve the pace as much as possible, as well as base card stats for physical and base card stats for dribbling. Ooh, the dribbling improvement would be nuts. Oh, my. Yeah, the dribbling improvements would be crazy for a card like this. And he works with the English links with Aston Villa. Aston Villa, there's not really, like, too much to work with that, but it's those English links that a lot of people are going to want to do. Especially if you want to link them up to, like, um, like a Trent Alexander-Arnold or something, right? That's something that um, a few people will definitely be looking into and then this one is Graham Graham uh I mean I don't know which one it would be maybe it'd be the Birmingham one 
Yeah, no idea. <laughs> no idea. Uh, there has been some leaks for some of the card's official stats. Swaps is returning. FIBA 19 swap systems back in some form. Could be linked with a new promo in some way. Uh, Zaha's SBC. Oh, Zaha, dude. If Zaha actually ends up being a five-star, five-star player, oh my goodness. Like, look at this card, bro. Look at this thing, dude. Wilfred Zaha on a on a five-star, five-star capability. Five-star weak foot with improved dribbling stats? Cheese. Ooh, this card would be nuts, man. What's his work rates, though? Oh, Andy's high medium work rates with a unique body type. Sheesh. This is an SBC for sure. This card might actually have a lot of hype for it. Yeah, he might have a lot of hype for it. So let's see the base card stats being improved. 93 for pace. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 91 for dribbling. 91 for dribbling from an 87. That's massive too. A plus four on that one. A plus five for finishing from a 77. Not even a plus five. An 85 shooting from a 77. Oh my. With 80 physical as well. So you're actually going to give him some aggression as well. Base card stats for passing a plus seven. Oh my. Dude, that shooting is nuts, eh? An eight. A plus eight on that. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. What else we got here? Kingsley Coleman has a striker with 96 pace, 91 for dribbling. So with Coleman here, let's see. So from the inform, 96 for pace, so a plus two on that. 91 for dribbling from an 89. 85 for shooting is a big one. That's a huge one. And then base card stats for passing being improved a little bit as well. But it's the shooting that is definitely the most massive thing. If true, these cards will be crazy. Um, I think there was like more official stats here too. If he's a five star, five star, oh my goodness, that'd be nuts. Left wing back for Spinach Zola. So he'll have 96 pace. Oh my. 96 pace. Hello? Look at this thing, bro. If this is actually like, hold on. If he actually has 90, 96 pace, oh my. This car's crazy. Look at this. A 92 to a 96. So you'd probably just give him an anchor. Or not even an anchor. You'd probably just give him a sentinel, like I said earlier. Oh, this card would be nuts. So from defending, a 78 to an 82. An 84 dribble from an 80. 80 passing from a 73 to work with the four-star weak foot. Sheesh. Sheesh. That is nuts. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Luke Bakio. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, what a meme, dude. What a meme. Oh, Neymar striker card. So what's the improvements to Neymar? Let's see here. So with Neymar, it's a 91 from a 90 or a, a 91 to a 93. 87 from an 83. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. 88 passing from an 86, okay. 94 to a 96 for drilling. The shooting boost is massive, though, bro. Oh, with the five-star weak foot. Oh, my goodness. That's nuts. That is crazy. Modric. Modric, would be, oh, Modric has so much potential. I wish they gave him, like, a, a work weight adjustment. If they gave him, like, a high medium, oh, my goodness. If Modric was a high medium, he would be crazy, dude. Oh, my goodness. He'd be so nuts. I would love him. I would absolutely love him. Wow. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, man. There's there's so much potential for this promo. A lot of exciting stuff to come. Uh, we're going to be making a, a video for the new icon swaps. If it ends up coming out today, we're going to be taking a look at it and reviewing it and seeing what the best choices are going to be. So yeah, if you guys want to see more of these types of videos, be sure to like the video. Be sure to comment down below, all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.